Hello and welcome to the Southern Business Network. I'm your host, Eric Fowler. This is East Alabama's premier show of giving dedication and highlighting to the East Alabama's small business entrepreneurs, civic and social organizations within our community. And I am blessed, I will say blessed, to have the honor and privilege of having my frat brothers here for today's show none other than the brothers of Lambda Mu Nu Chapter of Phoenix City, Alabama, of the Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated, better known as the Phoenix City Cubes. <laughs> brothers, how are y'all doing today? All, all right, right, all right, right, all right. 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 It's a pleasure to have you here on the Southern Business Network today. Um, for those who don't know about our prestigious organization, and without further ado, let me introduce each one of you all in your own right, all right, in no particular order. I've got here to my right, Brother Kelvin Smith, who is the bossless of our esteemed chapter. To my further right, I've got Brother Vincent Williams. To my left, I've got Brother Rico Santiago, and last, but certainly not least, Brother Willie Deloney, all of whom are brothers of our esteemed organization, our fraternal order. And again, I'm happy to have each one of them on our show today. Uh, brother Smith, started with you, brother. Yeah, bro. Um, for those who aren't familiar mm -hmm. with our beloved organization, okay. can you give us a brief history of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated? Okay. Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorpor Incorporated was founded Omega November 17, okay. 1911 on the okay. campus of Howard University <clears throat> in um, Third Kill Hall. There were three undergraduates and one advisor. Um, they were Edgar Amos, Love, um, Frank Coleman, and Oscar J. Cooper. And the advisor was Ernest Everett Jess. Um, and they saw a need to uplift the community and they came together and formed Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated, brother. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that brief history. Now, as we move into the birth of our beloved chapter, okay. um, Lambda Mu Nu, give some indication as to why this organization or why this chapter was formulated in this city? Why do we see the need to actually get a chapter started in Phoenix City? Well, similar to that of the founders, <clears throat> um, Lambda Mu Nu, or the brothers of Lambda Mu Nu, the 16 charter members, saw a need here in the Russell County, um, Lee County area uh, to uplift the community that wasn't being serviced. And so we formed, the brothers got together and we formed a chapter of Omega Sci Fi here to shine a great light on the Russell County, Lee County area, and now we're servicing schools such as um, Smith Station High School, Central High School, and Russell County High School to help uplift the community, bro. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, when we talk about it, that's a perfect segue um, to, to Brother Vincent Wiggins, who has, in his own right, been an educator for a number of years in this community. And, and Brother Wiggins, if I'm correct, you have served uh, significantly in the area of scholarship monies to needy students on the high school level. Can you kind of give us some insight about what that's all about and, and why it's so significant to, to give back to our community in that fashion? Well, Brother Fowler, uh, we came together at a fraternity meeting and uh, we wanted to do one of our mandated programs, which is uh, scholarship. Uh, and that's one of our uh, uh, main things that we wanted to do. Uh, we tried to uh, service uh, all three high schools, Smith Station, Russell County, and Central. Uh, we came together and we said we were going to uh, give out six scholarships. Well, at the time uh, when we decided to do this, uh, we missed the deadline for Smith Station. So we decided to give uh, four deserving students at Central High School a uh, $250 scholarship and we gave uh, two students from Russell County $250 uh, scholarships. Um, the requirements were uh, you had to have a 2.8 uh, GPA on a four-point scale. Uh, you had to type a 500-word essay uh, talking about leadership. And then we had a committee that took those uh, applications and looked over them, and that's how we came up with the uh, four deserving students. Uh, it is tremendous important to give back to the community because uh, someone gave back to us. Absolutely. And so uh, 
You know, our founding fathers uh, really believed in that. Uh, we have over 105 years of uh, uplift in the community. And so uh, that's one of our mandated programs. And so we decided that uh, that's what we wanted to do. And uh, it's a tremendous uh, opportunity for young people uh, to uh, apply for those uh, scholarships. And uh, hopefully uh, it will become bigger and bigger. Absolutely. Uh, a great part of our mission is to give. Back. And, and to give, give in some cases, until it hurts. Yeah. You know, um, the, the fact that we uh, have been in operation, as you stated, 105 years. And the beauty in that is that not only are we on the local chapter, but we are statewide, we are national, we are worldwide. The international. As a fraternity, international for that matter. Yeah. Thank you for adding that. So the fact that we are able to do the types of fundraising events that help us to gain monies to support those students who, of course, are interested in pursuing their academic uh, uh, opportunities yeah. on the next level, which is the collegiate level. We are, again, because we were founded on a black college campus, namely Howard University, mm -hmm. we believe in establishing scholarship dollars. Mm -hmm. So, Brother Rico Santiago, <laughs> you have actually participated on a large level, um, and I have to give credit where credit is due. You actually presented what has turned out to be a signature event for our chapter, the all-white signature party. Can you give us a little insight about how that all came about, first of all, because you were the brainchild with that scenario, uh, and how well we did as an organization to, us con to continue, of course, um, to give monies to deserving students? Absolutely, Brother Fowler. So, uh, I'm originally from Kissimmee, Florida, by way of North Miami Beach, and uh, having pledged at Edward Waters College in Jacksonville, Florida, I wanted to bring a little bit of the Miami flavor, a little bit of the Florida to the uh, Columbus area. I've been living here for a few years, and um, I it first started out with picking a location, locations, everything around here. So we identified the DoubleTree Hotel in, uh, in Columbus, and they were uh, phenomenal during the event. Um, after speaking with them, the ball started rolling. Um, we were able to lock down a, uh, a DJ and a band. And that was, a, that was the two key things that I really wanted to bring to the event, ensuring that we had uh, two different rooms that brought two different t styles of music uh, for our customers. Um, we were able to pack it out. Uh, we, we coined the term the, the signature all-white party. Uh, we're very proud of it. Ultimately, the, the party, uh, the event was really geared toward giving back and get, raising money for our scholarship. So that's, that's what it's all about uh, right there is giving back. So they, that was just a means to, uh, to generate uh, funds within our chapter. And uh, I would say that it was a successful event and we're definitely looking for uh, a, another location. Uh, for somewhere bigger because we expect a, a lot bigger crowd next year. Absolutely. Now, we say all white. Um, one thing that we do as Omegas, we tend to have themed parties. Yeah. Uh, and if I can coin a phrase of our beloved uh, frat brother Tom Joyner, uh, we call this partying with a purpose. <laughs> and so the all white party just happened to be one of those such situations where an all white event is just that you wear all white, completely from head to toe. Um, that's the objective. And, and it was amazing to see men and women of all diverse sectors participating in this event, coming out of their finest, drenched in all white, and just having a good time. Just having Absolutely. a good time. So again, we can coin that phrase party with a purpose because that's exactly what it was. Um, we had a band, we had a live DJ, we actually right. fed our patrons who were there, there was a cash bar, mm -hmm. and just had a great time. Great Even time. amidst the weather of rain, yeah. people still came that's out and supported the event. And again, we continue to I uh, look forward to making this event greater in the years ahead. Uh, and then there's Brother Willie Deloney. How you doing? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. <laughs> good, good. good. To see you. Uh, brother Deloney has, has been, he's actually a native of Phoenix City, um, placed on the campus of Alabama a and University, uh, New Epsilon chapter, if you will. Yes, sir. Um, and a great part of Brother Deloney's position with the fraternity has been uh, somewhat of our social media expert. He, he kind of dibs and dabbles in, in Facebook and getting the word out there to our community about all the events 
that we're having upcoming events and then he goes and makes certain that um, when we have these events that we keep a nice archive of information so that we can go back out and post on Facebook and other social mediums uh, what we do because in essence our objective is to make you who not attended our event to make you a little jealous of what you're seeing because you weren't there. Yes sir. So Brother Lord, if you would, kind of give us some insight on, on your part as it relates to supporting the events that we put on. Uh, yes, like you were saying earlier, uh, our chapter does have a Facebook page, Lambda Mu Nu PCQs. Uh, feel free to send the invite. We will accept. We keep you updated on all the upcoming events as well as past events. Like Brother Fowler said, kind of make you want to uh, look envious if you did not show up. So the <laughs> next time you will definitely be there. But uh, yes, just please visit the Facebook page. That's Lambda Mu Nu PCQs. Fantastic. Thank you for that information, Brother Lord. Now, we have also had some additional events, um, such as the Mardi Gras event, uh, which has actually been probably one of what we might consider uh, to be the start, the start of, of, of what we do as an organization to really motivate and, and help towards our scholarship events. Uh, that's just one of them. Uh, we have also been heavily involved um, in some other activity. Brother Stone, would you kind of tell us in terms of some other events that we've done throughout the course of the year to give back? Okay, since our inception on July 28, 2016, <clears throat> one of the first things that we did uh, was our Thanksgiving um, giveaway when we gave away food baskets to needy families. Um, following that, we um, did a Christmas toy um, giveaway to some of the families in the um, area. And um, we've reached out to the Canterbury Nursing Home Facility, and we go and visit those patrons at the nursing home on the fourth Saturday of every month. So if you would like to come out and enjoy and see what we do, you're more than welcome to come out and fellowship with us and fellowship with those patrons at Canterbury Nursing Home because they'll love to see you um, or see your face out there in the place. So those are some of the things that we've done, brothers. There, there are still numerous things that we've done and will continue to do. And we have some upcoming events also that um, I don't know if you want to get to it now or we can get to it later. Well, sure. Let's, let's go ahead since we throw it out there. Let's um, go ahead and talk about it. One, of the, one of the things we have coming up um, next weekend, August 19th, if I'm not mistaken, is our blood drive. We're going to have a blood drive at the Susan E. Allen School from 10 a.m. until 12. We would love for you to come out and donate blood. Um, um, one of our um, brothers, Dr. Charles R. Drew, um, who perfected the use of blood plasma, he's, he's the reason behind the, the blood drives that not only um, the organization that we're partnering with um, do blood drives, but also the American um, Heart Association and Red, American Red Cross. So do come out, support, and I'll let one of the other brothers talk about the, um, the, the awesome tailgate that we're going to have because I, I can't talk enough about the tailgate. So, <laughs> so I'll let one of those talk about That's so appropriate that you bring that up because you, you segue right into the fact that we were chartered July 28, 2016. Right. Um, and we happen to be chartered doing um, our conclave, right. which actually in 2016 was held in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes. Um, so it's just appropriate that as we have now reached a full year of operation as a chapter, um, we decided to throw what we call a massive tailgate. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, it ties in perfectly with the Whitewater Classic, which is actually right here in Phoenix City, that's played with Tuskegee University and Albany State University. Now, Brother, Brother Deloney, you, you have been, in past years, highly associated with the tailgate event. Yes, sir. And, and this one I know is going to be extremely explosive on a number of scales. So please, tell our audience what this tailgate is all about. Well, uh, like we have discussed, uh, September the 9th is Whitewater Classic. A uh, football game, HBCU, between Tuskegee and Albany State. September night also happens to be the day we received our piece of paper saying you are official. So to celebrate that day and the enjoyment of HBCU, we're going to throw a big tailgate. A tailgate that we want everybody and their mother to come and attend. Okay. You heard <laughs> it. Everybody and their mother. 
<laughs> come mingle, come, you know, hang around the queues, eat good, uh, play a little space, you know, listen to some music, laid back, chill. Everything will be all right. All the thing we need you to do is just show up. Absolutely, absolutely. Master Tell gave the celebration of our one year anniversary. You heard it from Brother Willie Deloney, um, who's actually been involved heavily with us, the setting up of our tailgates. Uh, and it's going to be a good time. It's going to be good. If, if you've never been to the Omega Sci-Fi fraternity tailgate, I assure you, you will not miss one again because we roll out the red carpet for you. I mean, it's really like a big family reunion, wouldn't you say? Yes, yes sir. Big yes. family reunion. Yes, and, and it's an opportunity for you to come fellowship, meet the brothers. We want you to bring your families. This is a family-oriented atmosphere. Yes, sir. We will have a lot of DJ, plenty of food to go around. We have a brother um, who's going to be on the grill, grilling everything from hot dogs to hamburgers, ribs, chicken. The list goes on, and we will continue to feed you on into the evening hours. So we encourage you to come out September 9th. It will be going down at the Whitewater Classic here in Phoenix City. Yes, and once again, if you need any more information, that's Landon Munu, PCQs on Facebook. Fantastic. Thank you for reiterating that, Brother Long. Now, as we continue to go forward and flourish as an organization, there may be some um, young man who is interested in joining the ranks of our brotherhood. Um, what would be the best suggestion, Brother Vincent Wiggins, I'd give him respect because you are the eldest brother here on the show, <laughs> on the stage. What would be your recommendation if there is some young man that is interested in seeking membership with Lambda Mutiny or just wanted to find out more information about us as an organization? Well, first of all, uh, I think he should approach uh, one of the members and uh, pull him to the side and, you know, and ask him how could he become a, an Omega? And uh, we would tell him that he would need a, uh, be a graduate of a uh, accredited university or college. Uh, he needs a 2.5 uh, GPA on a four point scale. And uh, just basically try to get to know the Omegas. And in doing so, uh, he will be informed when we will actually have actually have a smoker or or uh, or interest meeting, and in that way, uh, you know, he can really get to know uh, the brothers, you know, because uh, our motto is, uh, you know, friendship is essential to the soul. Absolutely. And so, uh, you know, you need to really get to know the cues. That's you right. Know, that's what we say. You need to get to know the cues in order to be a cue. That's right. You know, so uh, that would be my advice. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Now, the, the, the inspiring thing about our fraternities, and, and we are part of uh, a great list of other fraternities and sorority that we call the Divine Nine. Uh, Brother Rico Santiago, can you give some insight on who that Divine Nine consists of? Absolutely. So, um, I was blessed enough to have went to Edward Waters College and in my four years all the uh, divine I were on campus. So starting with the ladies, you have the, the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta, and then you have Alpha Kappa Alpha, uh, you have Zeta Phi Beta, and you have Sigma Gamma Rho. That's the, uh, the four on the, on the women's side of the house. Now for the men, uh, we'll obviously Omega Psi Phi, first and foremost. Uh, then you're <laughs> <laughs> we really can stop, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I respect, I respect for those who are within yeah, the we'll, we'll, Yeah, we'll, we'll play nice to them. Uh, you have Alpha Phi Alpha, uh, you have Kappa Alpha Psi, and you have, uh, you have uh, Sigma Phi Beta and Iota Phi Theta. That makes up the uh, Divine Nine. Absolutely, Phi Beta Sigma, out, out of all respect. Right. Uh, so that, that consists of the Divine Nine that make up the uh, National Paralytic Association, if you will. Um, but as we go further into, because all of us have great efforts, we just happen to believe that everything that we do here in Omega Sub 5 um, is a cut above the rest, shall we say. Yes. Uh, and in doing so, we always partner. We always find an opportunity to support other fraternities and sororities and events. But the point that I was getting to uh, where you might see a difference in the Divine Nine operations as opposed to um, um, some, some that are not associated with the National Pan Hill. Um, 
those fraternities and sororities generally stop their efforts at the undergraduate level. We, on the other hand, that are within the ranks of the Divine Nine, we take it another level. We go on the graduate level. And, and that is what our chapter is. We are considered a graduate level chapter of our beloved fraternity. Um, and I think it's so important that you understand that in doing that, we want to help our young brothers who are graduating, who are moving into the area, uh, to be able to bridge that gap from the undergraduate to what we consider the graduate level. Um, and, and I think this is where at this level, and correct me if I'm wrong, brothers, this is where a lot of work, we see a lot of work being done because we really find out what it truly means to be entrenched in our community. The fact that we are spending time mentoring the youth, we're in the high schools, we're at the middle school levels, and we're helping young men, particularly African-American men, but it just doesn't stop there. We're helping young men bridge that gap to understanding what it takes to be sound members of their community. Um, with the blood drives that we do, with the events that we have, the level of visibility that we have out in this community, all that we're trying to do is have an impactful approach to what we as Omega men have been born and bred to do within that society. So it makes me feel good, uh, especially good. Um, being a third generation uh, chief, my grandfather uh, was a 1942 Zeta chapter at Virginia Union. My father is a 76 brother, both these gentlemen passed. Um, out of Omega, out of Tuskegee, and then of course me. So it does my heart good to be able to say that I'm affiliated with this organization and that in any facet that I've met brothers, be it those who taught me in high school, those that I connected with in college, and even years beyond, I can honestly say it feels good to be an Omega. Right. It feels great to be an Omega. Very good. If, has there been anything that I may have omitted, gentlemen, as it relates to any upcoming activities that we have going on, Brother Bloom? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, just to piggyback on the blood drive that's coming up August the 19th, it's also a wellness screening. So if you can come out, you can get screened for, um, you know, the blood check, diabetes check, uh, bring your family out, kids, you know. This is an opportunity to let everybody get checked, a little basic check, uh, and just see where you are. So. Once again, it's a blood drive as well as a wellness screening. We'll have something there for you to eat, of course, and a little play area. So just come on out. Absolutely. Now, this is a free event. This is a free event. No charge whatsoever. Uh, this is just another avenue of an event that we're putting on to show you the importance of the wellness in our community. Yes, sir. So many people are dying uh, of heart disease at such an no, all-time no, no, no. high the rate of heart attacks, strokes. Uh, which is near and dear to my family. Say again? Hypertension. Hypertension, yeah. very huge in our communities. Mm -hmm. So we want to do all that we can as an organization to be involved in that level. And also, we're looking to partner with some of our other um, sororities or fraternities or maybe organizations within the um, Bi City area. Um, if you would like to partner with us and do an event, please um, contact us, contact Brother Fowler um, at the number that he's going to give you, and we'd love to. Um, partner with you and do an event. Fantastic. Well, brothers, again, I thank you for your time, for being on the Southern Business Network. Um, again, thank this you. is East Alabama's premier show, highlighted and dedicated to the small business person, um, civic and social organizations. And again, if you would like to be a part of this show, please feel free to reach out to me. You can hit me personally, my phone number, 706-718-9752 or you can contact me at Fowler, F-O-W-L-E-R underscore enterprises at yahoo.com. It's been a pleasure having you watch the Southern Business Network. Stay tuned for our next episode right here on CTV Bean. Rope.